finally tonight, archaeologists in Egypt made a groundbreaking discovery this week under ancient sands. And so these are the Naphtaplia stones, the world's first astronomical site. The Sahara Desert, often seen as an endless expanse of sand and heat, harbors numerous hidden mysteries. Contrary to the common belief of a static desert, this immense landscape is in constant flux, concealing diverse ecosystems and untold histories. Its sprawling dunes and vast skies veil a treasure trove of secrets that defy our assumptions. Scientists reveal the Sahara Desert is not what we thought. These revelations have dismantled the simplistic view of the Sahara, exposing a landscape marked by evolution and surprising discoveries. From the mysterious ancient mega lake of the Sahara Desert to the hidden chamber in the Great Pyramid of Giza. When we found this pyramid, there was no mummy. There were, there were no treasures, no nothing, no hieroglyphics, nothing. Here are the 20 most mysterious and captivating revelations unearthed in the heart of the Sahara Desert. So what we should do, put it all back for other people to find. Number 20, Ancient Mega Lake. In the expansive Sahara Desert, scientists have uncovered a significant finding that could reshape our perception of this well-known landscape. Surprisingly, beneath the sea of sandy dunes lies the extensive remains of an ancient mega lake. This revelation offers insight into a historical Sahara that differed greatly from today's arid desert. The ancient mega lake, estimated to have existed thousands of years ago, was no small body of water. It is believed to have spanned an area comparable to some of today's largest lakes world Worldwide. This discovery aligns with growing evidence indicating that the Sahara, now synonymous with dryness and desolation, was once a flourishing region of wetlands. Clues to this waterlogged past were uncovered through satellite imagery and geological surveys. These tools enabled scientists to piece together remnants of old river channels and lake beds hidden beneath the desert sands. However, the significance of this discovery lies not only in the vastness of the ancient lake, but also in what it reveals about climate changes spanning millennia. This discovery suggests a time when the Sahara experienced a significantly wetter climate, fostering a diverse ecosystem of flora and fauna. This shift in climate patterns over the Earth's history, influenced by changes in the planet's climate and orbital variations, played a crucial role. These alterations impacted rainfall and temperatures, transforming lush landscapes into deserts and, conversely, deserts into thriving habitats. Number 19. The Tomb of Tin Hainan. The tomb of Tin Hainan stands as a legendary site in the Ahagar Mountains of Algeria, believed to be the burial place of Tin Hainan, a revered queen among the Tuareg people. While the tomb itself is a subject of reverence and folklore, much mystery veils Tin Hainan's life and legacy. According to Tuareg's oral tradition, Tin Hainan was an ancient queen who arrived in the region accompanied by her entourage, possibly originating from the ancient Berber tribes. She's often revered as the mother of the Tuareg people, attributed with founding lineages and contributing to the region's social and cultural development. The tomb, discovered in the 1920s by French archaeologist Byron Kuhn de Prorok, is an important cultural symbol for the Tuareg, reflecting their matriarchal history. The structure itself is a circular stone monument, and while some artifacts were discovered within, such as jewelry and pottery, they provided limited insights into Tin Hinan's life. Legends surrounding Tin Hinan's existence and the purpose of her tomb are entwined with mystique and heritage, with narratives varying among Tuareg clans. Her significance as a figure in Tuareg history remains pivotal, representing the ancestral roots and the matriarchal lineage of this nomadic desert culture. Number 18. Bulldog-like dinosaur. Amidst the ancient sands, a fossil of a bulldog-like dinosaur has been unearthed, revealing a creature that once roamed the lush lands of the Sahara millions of years ago. What sets this dinosaur apart is its remarkable facial structure. Distinctly different from the usual dinosaur profiles we are accustomed to, the dinosaur's unique snub-nosed appearance isn't just a quirk. It's a crucial clue offering insights into the varied adaptations and lifestyles of dinosaurs. This distinct feature hints at the possibility that this dinosaur might have had a specialized way of feeding or surviving, unlike its long-faced counterparts. This discovery challenges our understanding of dinosaur evolution by presenting a species with a physical adaptation 
that distinguishes it from other known dinosaurs. It prompts us to reconsider the ecological dynamics of that era and how different species might have interacted. Additionally, the bulldog-faced dinosaur raises compelling questions about the ancient Sahara's environment. What prevailing conditions led to such unique adaptations in its inhabitants? This discovery acts as a piece in reconstructing the climatic and environmental history of the region during the age of dinosaurs, offering glimpses into a past that challenges our preconceptions and encourages further exploration and understanding. Number 17. Tamanrasset River the unearthing of the ancient Tamanrasset River, remnants within the Sahara Desert, unveils a compelling narrative of a once thriving waterway in what is now considered among the most arid regions on our planet. Through meticulous satellite imagery and detailed geological surveys, researchers have unveiled a network of aged riverbeds and channels beneath the sands, painting a vivid picture of a river system that flowed millions of years ago. This discovery of the Tamanrasset River serves as a window into a bygone era when the Sahara was a considerably more humid and life-sustaining environment. The revelation that this presently barren expanse once supported a substantial river, complete with a diverse ecosystem, is enthralling. This ancient river system likely played a pivotal role in sustaining early human populations and wildlife alike, providing a vital resource for drinking, agriculture, and potentially even navigation. Understanding the history of the Tamanrasset River holds paramount importance in deciphering the Sahara's climatic evolution. The transition from a verdant landscape to the barren desert, it is today stands as a testament to the dynamic nature of Earth's climate and environmental transformations over extensive geological periods. Number 16. 40 million year old whale fossil. In Wadi al Hitan, also called the Valley of Whales, archaeologists unearthed an extraordinary find, an ancient whale fossil reshaping our understanding of marine evolution. This UNESCO World Heritage Site, once submerged in the prehistoric Tethys Ocean, is now revealing secrets from millions of years past. The fossil discovered here belongs to Basilosaurus, an extinct whale species. While related to present day whales, these ancient creatures possess distinct qualities. What sets this find apart is its age estimated at over 40 million years, and its unique structure, notably featuring hind limbs. These limbs, absent in modern whales, offer a tangible link to their evolutionary journey from land to sea. Though envisioning four-legged whales may challenge our imagination today, such species did exist in the past. This whale fossil discovery is a pivotal piece in understanding Earth's history. It illuminates the transition of whales from land-dwelling beings to the majestic sea inhabitants we recognize today. The hind limbs of this ancient whale offer a captivating glimpse into this transformative phase. The Whale Valley, abundant with fossil remnants, vividly portrays an ancient underwater world vastly different from today's sandy landscape. Number 15. Libyan Desert Glass Nestled within the expansive terrain of the Libyan desert, an intriguing natural marvel captures attention. The Libyan desert glass. Scattered throughout the sands, this naturally formed glass has intrigued scientists and historians alike for decades. Its distinctive yellow to greenish yellow hue and varying sizes, ranging from small pebbles to sizable chunks, contribute to its allure. Yet, beyond its striking appearance, the enigma surrounding its creation has fueled years of debate and speculation. Initially, hypotheses varied widely, with some attributing their formation to ancient volcanic activities, while others proposed a meteoric origin. The high silica content and its widespread distribution across the desert added layers to the mystery, leaving its genesis shrouded in uncertainty. Recent investigations, however, have leaned toward an extraterrestrial genesis. The prevailing theory suggests that approximately 26 million years ago, a meteorite impact generated intense heat, melting the desert sand and transforming it into the sheets of glass found strewn across the landscape. This Libyan desert glass, once highly prized in ancient Egyptian jewelry, continues to hold significance in modern times, coveted by both collectors of meteorites and gemstones. Number 14. 480 million year old mystery creature. For more than 150 years, scientists have been captivated by the mysterious remains of a creature that wandered the Earth eons before the reign of dinosaurs. This enigmatic being has intrigued researchers, sparking heated discussions and speculation within the scientific community. Initially, all that was known was its existence millions of years ago. However, a groundbreaking discovery emerged from the fossil-rich landscapes of Morocco, illuminating this ancient riddle and providing profound insights into these 
these peculiar life forms. The revelation stemmed from an extraordinary finding in Morocco's fossil-rich terrains, where an impeccably preserved specimen offered a glimpse into the identity of these enigmatic creatures. This unprecedented discovery unraveled the mystery by revealing the creature's preserved guts, offering crucial information that had eluded scientists for centuries. This revelation was akin to discovering a missing puzzle piece in our comprehension of early marine life. The complexity found within its internal structure defied previously held beliefs about the sophistication of organisms during that ancient period. Understanding this ancient creature has reshaped notions about the intricacies and evolution of life forms from that epoch, challenging the established understanding of early organisms' complexities and sophistication. Number 13. The Enigmatic Nabta Stones the Nabda stones, nestled in the Nubian desert in southern Egypt, stand as a captivating and profoundly significant archaeological discovery. Forming part of a complex known as the Nabda Playa, these stones trace their origins back to approximately 6,000 to 6,500 BCE, establishing them as one of the earliest known astronomical sites globally. Arranged in a circular pattern with intricate alignments, the Nabta stones are believed to represent a prehistoric calendar employed by an ancient nomadic community. This community Community utilized these stones to mark significant celestial events with a particular focus on the summer solstice. The stones' configuration and alignments underscore the sophistication of the ancient nomads' understanding of astronomy, predating iconic sites like Stonehenge and offering compelling evidence of early human engagement with celestial phenomena. The Nabta stones unveil a rich fabric of knowledge possessed by the region's ancient inhabitants, showcasing a profound grasp of the stars and their movements. It is inferred that this celestial knowledge was applied for practical purposes such as agricultural planning and the coordination of ritualistic activities. The stone's strategic arrangement and the site's location hint at a community with a nuanced comprehension of celestial occurrences and their potential implications for daily life. And so these are the Napta Playa stones, the world's first astronomical site. Number 12, Mummy of Hakashapes. In the realm of ancient Egypt, where mummies and pyramids are customary sites, the discovery of the mummy of Hakashapes presents an intriguing deviation from the norm, unearthed from an unconventional resting place. Notably distinct from the customary locations reserved for high-ranking officials, Hekashepes's mummy introduces a puzzling narrative. What immediately sets Hekashepes apart is the unconventional mummification style. Unlike the opulent and intricate embalming methods associated with pharaohs, Hekashepes's mummy reflects a simpler, less elaborate approach. This departure from the expected norms raises questions among experts, prompting speculation about whether this choice was personal or indicative of a shift in the prevailing mummification practices during that era. Further confounding the mystery are the enigmatic objects and inscriptions discovered alongside Hakashapes. Each artifact appears to offer fragments of his life story, yet deciphering these relics has proven elusive, despite our knowledge of hieroglyphics and ancient Egyptian practices. These artifacts possess a distinctive character that diverges from the established norms of the time, hinting at a potentially more intricate and affluent life story. Moreover, the peculiar burial site chosen for Hakashapes adds another layer of curiosity. Positioned in a less prominent burial location, this choice prompts contemplation about its significance. Was there a specific reason or circumstance that led to Hakashapes's interment in this less frequented site? Did it signify a departure from the customary reverence afforded to high officials, raising queries about Hakashapes's status or potential transgressions that might have deemed him unworthy of other revered burial sites? The mummy of Hekashepes, with its atypical mummification, enigmatic artifacts, and unconventional burial, presents an intricate puzzle that challenges conventional understanding and invites speculation about the individual's life, societal practices, and the dynamics of ancient Egyptian culture during that era. Number 11. The Caravanserai Ruins in the heart of the Sahara Desert lie the silent echoes of ancient commerce, ruins of caravanserais that once thrived along the trans-Saharan trade routes. Picture this. 
A traveler, weary from the harsh desert journey, arrives at these oases of hospitality. These caravanserais were not mere structures. They were bustling hubs where merchants, nomads, and adventurers converged. Imagine their architecture, a fusion of diverse styles reflecting the myriad cultures that met within their walls. Courtyards offered respite, while rooms provided shelter from the desert's extremes. These stations weren't just resting places, they were beacons of civilization amidst the desolate sands. These ruins aren't mere stones, they're whispers of a bustling past. They symbolize the lifeline of trade that once linked kingdoms and cultures, facilitating the exchange of goods and ideas. Traders would barter spices gold, and textiles, while travelers shared stories that transcended borders. These remnants aren't just historical relics, they're gateways to understanding how commerce shaped societies, fostered cultural exchange, and fueled innovation. Exploring these sites unravels tales of resilience in the face of adversity and paints vivid portraits of the vibrant fabric of ancient Sahara life. Number 10. The Meso Pyramids Nestled within the heart of the Sahara, far removed from the hustle and bustle of modern life, lies an extraordinary and enigmatic discovery, the Meso Pyramids. Emerging from the vast expanse of desert sands, these ancient structures offer a mesmerizing window into a civilization long lost to time. Estimated to trace back thousands of years, the Meso Pyramids stand as testaments to the architectural ingenuity and cultural richness of their creators. Distinct from the globally renowned Egyptian pyramids, these structures, although less renowned, bear equal historical significance. While smaller in scale, their multitude forms a complex indicative of a well-organized society endowed with remarkable building prowess. Each pyramid within this complex serves as a poignant monument to the forgotten past of the Sahara region, meticulously constructed with precision and care, hinting at their probable importance to the civilization that erected them. While the exact purpose of these pyramids remains subject to ongoing research and spirited debate, it is widely speculated that they might have been integral to ceremonial or religious activities, mirroring the functions of analogous structures in other ancient civilizations. The unearthing of the Meso pyramids in such a remote and inhospitable environment evokes a myriad of inquiries. How did an ancient civilization thrive amidst such challenging terrain? What were their daily lives like? And what compelling motivations led them to erect these monumental structures in the heart of the unforgiving desert? These questions weave a fabric of curiosity, inviting exploration into a civilization obscured by time's passage. Number 9. 10,000-Year-Old Giraffe Amongst the sandy dunes of the Sahara Desert, scientists have made an extraordinary discovery. Ancient giraffe engravings dating back roughly 10,000 years. These engravings aren't mere surface marks. They're intricately detailed, showcasing the keen observation skills of the Sahara's inhabitants from millennia ago. The figures, some towering several feet high, serve as messages from ancient times, offering glimpses into the lives and experiences of their creators. You might wonder why giraffes, specifically, considering their rarity in the Sahara today. However, thousands of years ago, the Sahara was a different landscape, a greener, more welcoming environment where giraffes and other wildlife thrived. These engravings serve as tangible proof of that bygone era, illustrating a once vibrant Sahara bustling with life. The significance of these ancient artworks is twofold. Firstly, they provide insights into the prehistoric culture of the Sahara. The engravings indicate the artistic prowess and deep connection the ancient inhabitants had with the animals that shared their world. Secondly, these giraffe engravings play a crucial role in piecing together the Sahara's climatic history. They affirm the region's substantial environmental shifts, transitioning from a lush, animal-filled habitat to the arid desert landscape we know today. These engravings, etched onto the stone, offer more than mere pictures. They are vital clues in unraveling the Sahara's historical narrative. Number 8. Machimosaurus Rex in a momentous paleontological breakthrough, scientists have unearthed the fossils of Machimosaurus rex, an immense prehistoric crocodile in the expansive Sahara Desert. This colossal creature, estimated to have reached lengths exceeding 30 feet, stands as one of the largest marine crocodilian forms ever discovered, hailing from the Jurassic period around 130 million years ago. The unearthing of Machimosaurus rex represents a pivotal contribution to our understanding of the diversity and evolution of marine reptiles. 
Dating back to an era long before the age of mammals, this discovery offers a compelling glimpse into prehistoric ecosystems, showcasing the existence of colossal predators that once roamed ancient waters. The sheer size and distinctive features of Machimosaurus rex, characterized by its massive skull and formidable jaws, suggest a creature of unparalleled dominance. This ancient predator with its prowess was likely adept at hunting and subduing large prey, exemplifying its role as a top-tier predator in the Jurassic Seas, contemplating the hypothetical scenario of Machimosaurus rex coexisting with contemporary life evokes a vivid image of a truly formidable creature. The magnitude of its size and the evident adaptations for predation underscore the awe-inspiring nature of this prehistoric giant. Number 7. Mauro Prosperi Survival Mauro Prosperi, an Italian police officer, set out in 1994 to conquer the Marathon de Sable in Morocco a grueling 156-mile race across the unforgiving Sahara Desert. However, his journey took a terrifying turn. Despite preparing for nature's extremes, he found himself amid a powerful sandstorm, disoriented and lost in the vast emptiness of the Sahara. What started as a race became a fight for survival. Prosperi, a seasoned runner and survivalist, faced extreme conditions with scarce water and no food. Lost in the desert, he wandered, a tiny figure in the endless sea of sand. Somehow he managed to endure, stumbling upon an abandoned shrine which became his shelter. He resorted to drinking his urine and eating bats found in the shrine to stay alive. His resourcefulness and determination were nothing short of miraculous. Yet the most remarkable aspect of Prosperi's ordeal was his journey. He traveled over 180 miles farther away from the race's finish line, but closer to his ultimate survival. Eventually, a nomadic family discovered him, emaciated and sunburnt, but alive, defying all odds. Prosperi's survival story raises numerous questions. How did he endure the mental and physical challenges of being lost in the Sahara for 10 harrowing days? Perhaps the sheer will to survive was the driving force behind his resilience. Number 6. Oasis of Mosquitoes At first glance, this oasis seems like the typical desert haven. Palm trees, cool water, a serene escape from the harsh desert. But upon closer inspection, instead of just the calming water, you're met with swarms of mosquitoes. Yes, mosquitoes. In a place where you'd least expect them. The idea of mosquitoes in the desert might sound strange since we usually associate these pesky insects with humid, often tropical areas, not arid deserts. However, oases, despite their location, provide a perfect breeding ground for mosquitoes. These spots become thriving hubs for these insects due to the presence of water and vegetation, contrasting sharply with the dryness of the surrounding desert. Mosquitoes take advantage of the still waters found in oases to lay their eggs, turning this seemingly tranquil spot into a buzzing and lively community of these insects. It's an interesting example of life adapting and thriving in unexpected places, showcasing nature's resilience and adaptability. Even a species like mosquitoes can find a way to flourish in the harshest of environments. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. The Sahara Desert is often seen as an endless stretch of dunes, but scientists reveal the Sahara Desert is not what we thought. Recent scientific discoveries have revealed a surprising wonder. The Eye of the Sahara. This almost perfectly circular formation, spanning around 20 miles in diameter, serves as a prominent landmark even visible from space, often mistaken initially as a creation of a UFO due to its size. However, this extraordinary feature isn't the aftermath of a meteorite crash, as some speculated. Rather, it's a natural marvel shaped over millions of years by geological processes. As the Earth's continents separated, molten rock from the mantle formed a circular rocky dome, encompassed by sandstone. Erosion gradually sculpted the eye of the Sahara, creating its distinctive sunken circular appearance, with its center now at a lower elevation than its surroundings. Peeling back the layers of this formation reveals a compelling narrative not just about the Sahara, but about Earth's dynamic history. In ancient times, this now arid and barren land teemed with life, flowing rivers and lush greenery. The eye of the Sahara stands as living proof of these drastic transformations. This extraordinary formation challenges the typical perception of the Sahara as a monotonous, sandy desert. It showcases the evolution of the desert landscape, formed by the uplifting and erosion of rock layers, illustrating the relentless and powerful forces of nature that have shaped our planet over time. Let us know what you think about what we just showed you. Number 5. 
Sand Cats When thinking of deadly predators in the desert, our minds often jump to lions or cheetahs. However, there's a lesser-known contender for that title, the Sand Cat. Despite its unassuming appearance resembling a pet kitten, this small and elusive feline is a formidable hunter, perfectly suited to the harsh desert environment. Sand cats, with their pale, sandy to gray-brown coats, excel in blending into their desert habitat. Species of wild cats in the world. Now all the big ones are famous, but the Cincinnati Zoo leads the world. Weighing just three to 7.5 pounds, they're not much larger than an average house cat, but don't be fooled by their size. They're expert survivors in the desert. What sets sand cats apart isn't just their cute looks, but also their incredible adaptations, making them one of the most efficient predators in the desert. Their large, wide ears give them exceptional hearing, ideal for detecting prey like rodents, birds, and reptiles beneath the sand. Their fur-covered feet are another marvel, shielding them from the scorching desert sands and leaving no footprints, rendering them nearly invisible to both prey and other predators. It's like they have their natural desert boots. Remarkably, sand cats can endure temperatures from cold nights to blistering hot days without needing any water. They extract all the moisture they need from their prey, showcasing remarkable self-sufficiency in an environment where water is scarce. Despite their fierce hunting abilities and adaptability, sand cats remain enigmatic creatures. They're solitary and nocturnal, making them a rare sight. Researchers find it challenging to study these elusive felines because they seamlessly blend into their surroundings and leave minimal traces behind. Number 4. Spinosaurus In an unexpected turn within the Sahara Desert, a landscape often associated more with endless sandscapes than prehistoric creatures, paleontologists made an astonishing breakthrough. They unearthed the fossils of Spinosaurus, a remarkable dinosaur discovered in what is now known as Morocco. This find immediately piqued the curiosity of archaeologists. Living approximately 95 to 100 million years ago during the Cretaceous period, Spinosaurus stands out as a dinosaur unlike any other known species. Surpassing even the famed Tyrannosaurus rex in size, it boasted unique attributes such as a crocodile-like snout and an imposing sail-like structure on its back. That's when you realize a, how big this animal was, but also how beautiful it was. However, what truly distinguishes Spinosaurus is its remarkable adaptation to an aquatic lifestyle, a rarity among known dinosaurs. The physical characteristics of Spinosaurus strongly suggest its specialized suitability for life in water, a trait highly unusual within the realm of dinosaurs. This semi-aquatic adaptation represents a substantial departure from the conventional perception of dinosaurs as primarily land-dwelling creatures. The discovery of Spinosaurus fossils provides a compelling narrative, revealing an extraordinary and unexpected facet of dinosaur behavior and evolution. Number 3 hidden chamber in the Great Pyramid of Giza. The Great Pyramid of Giza stands as an enduring testament to ancient ingenuity, its colossal structure a marvel of the ancient world. Yet, amidst its grandeur, mysteries persist. Recently, researchers made a perplexing discovery, a concealed chamber nestled within the pyramid's depths, a finding that has confounded experts. Unlike traditional exploration methods, this hidden space, known as the void, was unveiled not by physical means. When we found this pyramid, there was no mummy. There were, there were no treasures, no nothing, no hieroglyphics, nothing. But through the innovative application of modern technology, employing muon radiography, akin to an X-ray of the pyramid, scientists gained unprecedented insight into this enigmatic chamber without disrupting the pyramid's structural integrity. Situated above the Grand Gallery, a lengthy, sloping corridor leading to the king's chamber, the void spans a substantial expanse akin to the size of an aircraft. Its revelation has ignited a fervor of intrigue within the archaeological sphere, prompting probing questions about its purpose and significance. Despite the Great Pyramid's age, approximately 4,500 years, and extensive study, this newfound chamber remains shrouded in ambiguity. And, and the tunnel that we found today there is something important in my opinion. Its intended function remains an enigma, stirring conjecture within scholarly circles. Some posit it could have served as a relieving space, strategically incorporated by builders to ease the weight exerted on the Grand Gallery. Others speculate on potential links to ancient Egyptian burial rituals or religious beliefs. This discovery underscores the depths of our ignorance regarding the Great Pyramid and its creators.
Despite exhaustive research and exploration, the monument persists in guarding its secrets, reminding us of the vast gaps in our understanding of this ancient marvel and the civilization that erected it. Number 2. Garamantes Fortresses The unveiling of the Garamantes Fortresses within the Sahara Desert illuminates a captivating yet lesser-known chapter of history. These remnants, belonging to the Garamantes civilization, stand as a profound revelation, showcasing a remarkably advanced society thriving in what was once deemed an inhospitable expanse. For years, the Garamantes remained enigmatic, their existence mostly pieced together through fragmented references in ancient Greek and Roman texts. However, the discovery of their fortresses, coupled with an intricate network of subterranean passages and other architectural marvels, has unveiled the intricate fabric of a remarkably sophisticated civilization. What renders these fortresses particularly intriguing isn't solely their sheer size or formidable structures, but rather their strategic placement within the harsh Sahara Desert. Their presence challenges the notion that the Garamantes merely survived in this challenging environment. Instead, they flourished. These fortifications, some boasting elaborate defense mechanisms, were integral parts of a broader urban network, indicating a meticulously organized social and political framework. Beyond their strategic locations, the Garamantes showcased advanced construction techniques that were ahead of their time. They ingeniously utilized scarce water resources by developing an intricate system of underground channels known as Fogas. This innovation allowed them to harness and distribute water, enabling agricultural cultivation and sustaining their communities amidst the arid landscape. The discovery of the Garamantes fortresses has significantly altered the narrative surrounding life in the ancient Sahara. It has highlighted the ingenuity, resilience, and sophistication of a civilization that not only survived but thrived in one of the world's most challenging environments, reshaping our understanding of ancient societies and their capabilities. Number 1. Gabaro Skeletons In the year 2000, a pivotal discovery in the Sahara Desert of Niger unveiled a captivating chapter in human history, the Gobaro Skeletons. These ancient remains, dating back 8,000 to 10,000 years, belong to two distinct prehistoric cultures, the Kayan and the Tarian. What makes this archaeological find particularly intriguing is the insight it offers into how these groups adapted to a region undergoing profound environmental transformations. The Kian people, characterized by robust physiques, were hunter-gatherers during a time when the region flourished with lush greenery. One of the most spectacular aspects of Gobro is the way it preserves the human record. Analysis of their skeletons suggests a life marked by strenuous physical activity, likely centered around hunting large aquatic animals. However, as climate patterns shifted and the area transitioned to a drier landscape, the Tarian culture emerged. Distinguished by more slender frames and different artifacts, the Tarian people showcased an adaptation to a pastoral lifestyle, aligning with the changing conditions of a developing desert. The Gobero site unfolds a narrative of survival and adaptation, offering a rare glimpse into the dynamic evolution of human societies in response to environmental challenges. The skeletons, alongside the artifacts discovered at the site, provide valuable insights into the resourcefulness and resilience of these ancient communities. It is indeed fascinating to contemplate that an area now arid and unforgiving was once the vibrant home to thriving human settlements, each cultural shift representing a strategic response to the changing landscapes of their time. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.